remember what those first libraries that we made, you know, how, how was that process? Painful. Painful. <laughs> it, was, it was definitely a learning curve, I think, for, for us sort of coming through. Obviously, the process then was very slow. We were working with protocols that we weren't familiar with. So we were double checking and triple checking all of our work and making sure that sort of everything was in place. And I think it that first sequencing run, we all put it on, fingers crossed, not knowing whether it was going to work, but. I know, and it took so long, like the first day, yeah. maybe it was like 10 or 11 hours in the lab. It was so exhausting trying to, like you said, follow this complicated protocol that we hadn't used before and trying to get every step right. It took ages. And I think at the, <laughs> in the beginning we were just doing 24 samples, yeah. at, like maybe even a week. We were doing one run a week at the time because it would take us ages to hand pick all the positives out of the hospital extraction plates. So there wouldn't be a whole collection of positive samples. There'd be a mixture and we'd have to go through and take out multiple stacks of elution plates and then yeah. hand select each individual positive. And we only had single channel pipettes. So everything was done manually by hand. And there's so much opportunity for mistakes when you're doing that, that you want to like triple check everything all the time, which also like adds a huge amount of delay onto how long it takes to process them. Yeah. And I think probably having the two of you working in, in tandem really helped with that yeah. because you were able to, to make sure that um, you were able to check with each other yeah. about yeah. as you're going through, making sure steps weren't missed, making sure that you weren't. And you had a lot of, I, I remember you had a lot of tricks to sort of make sure that you didn't miss out a sample on a plate or anything along those lines. Yeah, we got very pr proficient with Excel. Lots of big <laughs> Excel spreadsheets and making sure that, uh, yeah, our, our work plans were, were really set out. I think that was a really good thing to, to be able to have those uh, like 96 well plates and highlight which of those samples that we needed to pull out. Mm -hmm. And sort of running through and making sure that we knew from whereabouts in 196 well plate it was going to, to whereabouts in the next set of samples it was going to and being able to tick those off as we went along. Even sort of back then when we were only doing 24 samples, it was a, it was a good sort of start out for that practice. Definitely. Or, you know, like opening a fresh box of 96 tips when you're handling a 96 well plate, because then each time you take a sample, if you suddenly get lost and forget where you are, you can look back at your tip box and see exactly how many samples you processed already. That saved me like a few times because when you're doing it day in, day out, you can just so easily uh, lose, track. lose track. Exactly. Daydream for a second and yep. um, you're completely lost. Yeah, and obviously back in those days, again, like you were saying, using single channel for pets to do full on 96 bar plates, it is definitely a, a challenge. Yes. So making, uh, moving across to using a multi-channel is definitely needed for when we scaled up. Yeah, yeah absolutely.